Rolando Raleigh Romero recently made a shocking announcement stating that he is ditching Ryan Garcia and fighting Isaac Pitbull Cruz instead. This comes after Romero claimed Oscar De La Hoya made some shady business decisions during negotiations. The Romero vs. Cruz fight is already gaining a lot of attention with celebrities and influencers predicting who wins this one. Showbiz the adult recently shared his opinion on the fight. This is the perfect fight. I mean, this is going to be a slugfest. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch. I'm sorry. Roly Romero, he hasn't been looking that good. I don't know if he ever looked that good, but he's the GOAT. He Hervonta Davis's coach, Kenny Ellis, also shared his prediction for the fight. Ellis is rooting for Isaac Cruz to knock out Romero. That's going to be a bombshell. I'm going with Pitbull Cruz, though. Mm -hmm. Knock yeah. out? Yeah. Stop, Stop it. It looks like Rolando Romero will fight Isaac Cruz next. But who has the better chance of winning this bout according to experts? Stick around and watch as we find out in today's video. Rolando Roli Romero recently shocked everyone by taking to social media and announcing that he is fighting Isaac Pitbull Cruz next instead of Ryan Garcia. He took to X writing this in a caption to a poster for the Romero vs. Cruz fight, Fuck Princess Ryan Garcia. F Circumflex Circumflex K Oscar De La Fishnets and fuck Daz and the shittiest streaming network out there for wasting my time and more importantly wasting the entire boxing world's time. It's disgusting to see how you guys do business then trying to go behind my back offering Pitbull an offer then claiming I outpriced myself. Y'all fucked up. Now it's Raleigh V's Pitbull on Amazon Prime. The largest network in boxing history. This fight is an explosion. The latest announcement has invited the predictions of the boxing world, who feel this is a great fight. But why did Romero ditch Garcia for Pitbull Cruz? Well, the reigning WBA junior welterweight titleist has taken exception to the claim made by Oscar De La Hoya, Garcia's promoter, that Romero priced himself out of the attractive matchup. That excuse was provided by the Hall of Fame former sixth division champion and head of Golden Boy Promotions when he revealed that his company moved on to a planned Garcia Jose Ramirez fight. The Las Vegas boxer publicly expressed interest in a fight versus Garcia, 24, 1, 20 KOs, late last year and in recent weeks. Public interest intensified after Garcia openly acknowledged that he instructed Golden Boy to abandon talks for a shot at WBC junior welterweight titleist Devin Haney, 31, 0, 15 KOs. Progress was minimal at best. In fact, talks hadn't even yet begun with Romero at that time. De La Hoya recently alleged that Romero Garcia was no longer in play and that he was instead moving on to a planned in-house fight for his company's biggest star. Golden Boy recently signed Ramirez and is the promoter of record for Garcia, although that relationship is severely strained and the subject of an ongoing lawsuit. Garcia recently refuted any claims that he and his team were engaged in talks with Ramirez, despite ongoing conversations between Golden Boy and Rick Merigian, Ramirez's manager. It has left Romero without a viable option as a mandatory title defense looms. Ismael Barroso won the interim WBA junior welterweight title with a first-round knockout of O'Hara Davies on a January 6th Desi N show from Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. Romero was ringside for the show and offered words of encouragement for Barroso after the fight, even posing for picks with his former rival. Romero claimed the WBA 140-pound title with a controversial ninth-round stoppage over Barroso last May at the Cosmopolitan in his Las Vegas hometown. He was subsequently ordered to next face Davies as his mandatory, but had to file an injury exception as he was unable to return to the ring in time to honor the deadline. Romero has now set his sights on current lightweight contender Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Interestingly, Mexico City's Cruz, February 1st, 25, 17 KOs, has embarked on his own campaign to secure a Garcia fight. Romero has his own thoughts on how all of that will shake out, saying, Now it's Raleigh vs. Pitbull on Amazon Prime, the largest network in boxing history. This fight is an explosion. 
Now, the clash between Romero and Cruz is an interesting one considering both fighters fought and lost to Gervonta Tank Davis. Romero lost to Davis in a sixth-round knockout after controlling the game and keeping Tank at bay for the entirety of the fight. As for the Mexican Isaac Cruz, he lasted the full 12 rounds, only losing to Davis via unanimous decision. It was a tough fight for the boxer from Baltimore, and he often considers Pitbull Cruz his toughest opponent. Does this deserve a rematch? Hell no, but uh... <laughs>Romero versus Cruz is therefore an interesting fight, and a few have been predicting who will win this one. Among them is Kenny Ellis, the trainer of Tank Davis. In a recent interview, Ellis expressed a clear opinion. He believes that Pitbull Cruz will emerge victorious against Raleigh Romero. His prediction isn't just a guess. It's based on a thorough analysis of both fighters' styles, strengths, and weaknesses. Ellis anticipates that Cruz will win either by knockout or stoppage, a testament to Cruz's aggressive and powerful fighting style. That's gonna be a bombshell. I'm going with Pitbull Cruz though. Mm -hmm. Back yeah. out? Yeah, stop, stop it. Ellis's prediction takes into account several factors. First, there's the fighting style of Isaac Cruz. Known as Pitbull, Cruz has a reputation for being a relentless, aggressive fighter who brings a lot of power and pressure to his bouts. His performance against Davis, although not victorious, was commendable and showcased his resilience and ability to withstand and deliver powerful punches. On the other hand, Raleigh Romero, while a skilled boxer in his own right, has shown inconsistencies in his performances. His approach to boxing has been somewhat controversial, and his recent outburst on social media against prominent figures in the boxing world has added an extra layer of drama to the fight. Romero's performance against Davis raised questions about his ability to handle a fighter with the aggressive style of Cruz. Ellis's prediction is not just a reflection of his expertise, but also a commentary on the current state of boxing. It highlights the importance of not just skill and technique in the ring, but also mental toughness and strategic acumen. In his view, Cruz's aggressive approach and resilience give him an edge over Romero, whose controversial persona and inconsistent performances might be a disadvantage in this high-stakes match. Boxing influencer, Showbiz. The adult also shared his enthusiastic insights and predictions regarding the highly anticipated fight between Romero and Pitbull Cruz. His analysis offers a unique perspective on what he believes will be a compelling and explosive matchup. This is the perfect fight. I mean, this is going to be a slugfest. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch. I'm sorry. Roly Romero, he hasn't been looking that good. I don't know if he ever looked that good, but he's the GOAT. Showbiz the Adult expressed that the Romero versus Cruz fight is not just a great matchup, but also one that he didn't realize he wanted until it was announced. This statement underscores the unexpected yet intriguing nature of this bout, which has captured the attention of boxing fans and analysts alike. One of the key points in Showbiz's analysis is the context in which this fight is taking place. He highlights the recent social media outburst from Romero, where he criticized Oscar De La Hoya, Ryan Garcia, and others for their business dealings. This backdrop adds an extra layer of drama and intensity to the upcoming fight, making it more than just a physical contest, but also a battle of personalities and reputations. Regarding the fighter's styles and capabilities, Showbiz the adult acknowledges the strengths and weaknesses of both Romero and Cruz. He notes that Romero, despite his controversial persona and mixed performances, is a fighter with knockout power and a certain unpredictability in the ring. This makes him a dangerous opponent, capable of swinging the fight in his favor with the right opportunity. On the other hand, Isaac Cruz, known for his aggressive and relentless fighting style, is seen as a formidable challenger. Showbiz the Adult points out that Cruz's performance against Gervonta Davis, though not victorious, was impressive and showcased his resilience and power. This, combined with his aggressive approach, positions him as a serious threat to Romero. Showbiz the Adult's prediction seems to lean towards a highly competitive and potentially explosive fight. He anticipates a slugfest, with both fighters bringing their unique strengths to the ring. While he stops short of definitively picking a winner, 
His analysis suggests that the fight could go either way, with both fighters having the capability to secure a victory. In a potential fight between Cruz and Romero, we expect Romero to establish his presence with his trademark confidence and flamboyance. Known for his unorthodox style and powerful right hand, Romero would likely seek to impose his physicality and reach advantage early in the fight. His strategy would probably involve using his jab to create openings for his powerful crosses and hooks, aiming to catch Cruz off guard and score an early knockout. Cruz, on the other hand, would enter the ring with his characteristic aggression and relentless pressure. Nicknamed Pitbull for his tenacious fighting style, Cruz would waste no time in closing the distance, looking to negate Romero's reach advantage. His approach would involve constant forward movement, throwing compact and powerful punches, particularly to the body, to wear down Romero. Cruz's resilience and ability to absorb punishment would be key in withstanding Romero's power shots. As the rounds progress, the fight could turn into a battle of attrition. Romero's strategy might shift to a more cautious approach, picking his moments to engage while trying to maintain distance and utilize his reach. Cruz, undeterred, would continue to press the action, aiming to overwhelm Romero with volume punching and constant pressure. The later rounds could be pivotal. If Romero's power and unorthodox style haven't significantly hurt Cruz by this point, the momentum could shift in favor of Cruz's relentless pressure and stamina. However, Romero's one-punch knockout power remains a constant threat throughout, making every exchange potentially fight-ending. But what are your thoughts on a potential Romero versus Isaac Pitbull Cruz? Will the fight go ahead? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.